Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a disassembly slash give you my first impressions on this guy here. This is the QSP Legatus. This is a collab with Dutch Blade Works. Dutch Blade Works design. This is the Fancy Pants model, of course, an M390 with some ridiculous action on the clothes. Um, the detent is very dialed in. It's definitely strong, um, enough, and it's just a heavy blade, so you can fail it, but since I've added some KPL, it has basically become, um, much better. Uh, I think there was just a little bit of wear in necessary on the bearing slash detent ball. I don't think I'll be trying to swap any, uh, blades or anything, sorry, uh, bearings or anything, because it's already really good, and this is not probably a long-term keeper, um, if that's any indication to you. It's a little bit heavy for my liking. There's absolutely no internal milling in here. Uh, as you can see, it's just flat slabs of uh, titanium with the titanium backspacer and 3D milled clip. I don't know if they thought that the inlay would somehow reduce some weight, or they just didn't care, but this thing is a heavy sucker. Um, I'll tell you that right now. I don't know of anything you guys might know the weight of. Like, here's a pair of three. Um, it's substantially heavier than a pair of three. Um, that one's all modded up. I can compare it to my 8020. This is in G10, obviously. And um, I got to be honest, I can't tell the difference. So I don't know if that helps at all. Um, but it's basically as heavy as this 8020 right here, um, which is a heavy boy. So, yeah, it's not really that heavy for the size, but I don't know. I think I've become jaded when it comes to the weight of a knife at this point. Um, but this one really stands out to me as being heavy. Um, it's just something you notice right away. So, um, let's go ahead and take her apart. I am on uh, dad duty currently. Uh, my wife is out right now with her friends, which is awesome for her. Uh, she definitely needed that. And um, yeah, so the baby I just put down, she may interrupt us, but uh, that's just fine. So let's see, you got a T8 here. And like I said, that action you could see was very good. So, you know, I could be messing with something here, but you know, that's me guys. That's what I do. Trying to get it out. That uh, pivot feels weird over here, but we'll see why. Okay, so interesting. This is the pivot. So why is the pivot coming out? Interesting design. So that's a good way maybe to have a pivot that doesn't walk. Oh, look at that. It has a little notch there. So it's very Vero-esque right there with that little notch that uh, clicks in right here. See the notch there? It's funky that this side was the, uh, but it's the one with the tooling. Interesting. I kind of like that, actually. Uh, we do have some thread locker on there, so um, I'll have to replace that, I suppose. Uh, let's get the rest of these suckers out. That's so weird, though. Interesting. Totally like it, though. Please tell me these are not T6s. Wow, T6s on those. Interesting choice there, guys, right? Look at the design. Like To me, it just screams like, give me T8s all around, but apparently not. Um, I only have the one Fancy Pants driver right now. I'm waiting for my Brian Brown one to come back from Brian Brown. Uh, he's replacing it with a different model or version um, that has a little more uh, grip here so I can crank on it a little more. He changed his design from knurling like this to having multiple fullers around the outside. And I think he made it a little thicker. Okay, this came right apart. Um, all right, cool, that was easy. So you have here, uh, what has become common is like an internal stop pin cut out here like this. Um, and the, then stop pin or whatever 
is inside the blade here. Sometimes they're like actually milled out of the steel, but this one you can obviously see moved back and forth. Um, so it's added later and that probably saves you a little bit on cost. Um, let me get a cloth here. I'm gonna do a couple things real quick. I'm gonna wipe this down. Now, should I just take that out? Yeah, that comes out. All right, so that's your blade right there, guys. Nothing special, nothing crazy. It is very, very, very um, fingerprint magnety and shiny as hell. I did a reel earlier where I like smiled and you could see me in the uh, thing. You can tell right here. Look, that's me. Hi, guys. Face reveal. Oh, crap. I'm not wearing my Robin mask. Uh -huh, get it. Get it. That's not funny at all. Look at this. Huh? Shout out to Baby Yoda, baby. <laughs> All right, having a little too much fun here, guys. Can't have fun when you're doing disassemblies. What the hell, Kev? Just take the knife apart. Show me the knife. I don't want to see your face. Just doing the spraying off camera. I got some EDCI here. Absolutely loving this stuff, even though... There's probably no way for anybody to know how well it's working at this point. I've had it for a week, and I've used it on, like, every blade. But I just like this shit, so... Stand up, sucker. Look at that. How long does that last? Two seconds, and then it falls on the pivot. All hell breaks loose. Sound about right. Alright, so let's take a look at our bearings slash, uh... What's going on in here? Come on, sucker. See, this is ceramic, and there's no metal because it's a Teflon cage or nylon cage, so I cannot use a magnet to get her out. There we go. All right, so as noted before, internal stop pin. Am I fucking the light up or what? What's going on here? Sorry. I'm trying to get a light, like, above, but it makes it hard, too, so apologize. It's, am I getting in the way? I don't know. I think it's just not high enough. Hang on. Is that better? Nope. Okay. Forget it. Uh, but yeah, so internal stop pin, bearing pocket, uh, detent ball. Anything else interesting going on? There's your steel insert, obviously. Um, <laughs> backspacer. Pretty standard shit here. All titanium. These screws are holding on the inlay and on this side, which I'm not going to take off. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it's doing. And there's your 3D mill clip. Clip is good. Goes in and out of pocket very well. No issues there. Um, here's the inside of this guy. Just like I said, absolutely no milling. And that kind of sucks. If they had taken the time to put like four pockets on each side, this thing would weigh substantially less. I mean, I usually am like, why do they do all that milling, right? And um, now I know why. Because this sucker's heavy compared to... A lot of other knives I've handled of the same size. Um, so, very, very interesting. So, we do have the quarter inch 1 16th type bearings here. At least I'm pretty sure. I could swap these out. Let me see if... The only ones I'm willing to use in here... Like, I'm not going to use my only set of salt and peppers left. Yeah, these are the only ones I'm willing to use. These... Uh, skiffs and i doubt i'm pretty sure they're going to be too big for the pocket i don't even really want to take them out to find out but i'm gonna because everybody wants to know everybody everybody watching is like does do skiffs fit in the qsp legatus because you know everybody owns one of these knives way too big right look at that Maybe I'm thinking on the wrong size. I don't think so, though. Skiff recently changed the overall diameter of these from 0.432 to 0.420 to help fit into more of those pockets. Like these are 0.42. And I think I was wrong, guys. I think these might be uh, the 5 millimeter size bearings. 
And I always admit when I'm wrong, guys. Here's the five millimeters. No, what? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I do have two sets of these and another set in the Gillians, but I need, so I have a bunch of Vero's coming and I might need them and I probably don't want to waste them on this knife. That sounds weird, but I'm not going to waste my good bearings on this $200 knife. <laughs> Sound like an idiot. Just trying to get some of that uh loctite over there i'll use the permatex it kind of sucks because you know you always have to wait a day or whatever when you loctite something and it kind of sucks waiting but um you know how it is all right so that blade should be good to go let that stuff soak in for a couple minutes and then you just kind of rub it dry and then you should be good for a while anyway Lately, what I've been doing is taking a hank afterwards and just giving it a little rub because the um, the gun cleaning cloth just leaves a bunch of shit. Man, that satin is really well done. Just a mirror satin. This is a cool new hank I got from Hanks That Rock. Nerds. I've been telling all the hank companies that I've been getting hanks from, like, dude, nostalgia, baby. Go for nostalgia. People will buy that. Like, the other one I bought from him is Looney Tunes. I have this Mad Pal Hank that has um, Disney villains on it. So cool. And then I have, like, four Disney... Or, four Disney. Well, technically, four Star Wars Hanks. Um, like, you know, that's what people want. You know what I'm saying? Now, these are nylon caged. So, technically, I can put these in dry. And maybe I should see how that runs. I've never tried that... Um, and it would be interesting to try that for once because I'm usually a proponent of KPL does wonders. And honestly, if you watch my unboxing of this, the action was nowhere near as good as what you just saw at the beginning of this. Um, so, you know, I, I think I'll add nothing. <laughs> we'll go dry. And then if I need to, I'll just drop a little KPL in. Um, let's try it. So. This is interesting. This is the pivot, but it's the one with tooling. So it needs to go through the clip side. And is it D-shaped as well? No. Okay, so that's in. Lay that down. Put the blade down. Boom. Good to go. Stop pin is home. Everything seems pretty solid here, guys. It's pretty straightforward. You have a little pin down here. It comes out. But it took a little effort, so that's good. And, uh, oh, might want to put the bearings in, Kev. What about that? One bearing. Two bearing. Three bearing. Four. Okay, shut up. So, bearings are in. Drop this sucker on. This could be pretty quick, guys. Look at that. Boom. Uh-oh. Want to wanna make moves, son? All right, are these the same length? Question. No. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Tighten that sucker in. Tighten that sucker in. Now, I can always take it apart and do the KPL thing, but um, I seem to be able to get KPL into bearing pockets and stuff pretty well from the outside. Mother of fuck shit. Sorry. Ah, that's why I always check off. God damn it. That's why I always check off not for kids, guys. Because <laughs> I will say, mother of fuck shit damn. And you will have to listen. I'm just kidding. You could turn this off at any moment and save yourself. Seriously, you can do it. There we go. Suck on that. Is this loose? Why did that look like it loosened up or something? Go check everything now. All right. All we got left is this Senor Pivot screw. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Permatex on and assume everything's going to work fine dry. So here's what you do. Ah, oh, shit, we don't have tooling. Shit balls. Okay. So I'm just going to dip the sucker in there. I dip it in, spin her up. Spin, 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 spin. See that? 
got it all up in them threads and I didn't go too deep. That's what she said. And then we're going to drop it in. You gotta be careful because, again, no tooling. This is so weird. So I'm going to use my fingers to spin it in. This is fucking crazy. Oh, shit. Remember this thing had a had a pocket? No, this one did. Huh. Okay, so let me do this because it's going to let me move it then. There we go. I need to find the pocket. It's not there. <laughs> At some point, it's going to pop in. Got it. So right there, it popped in. Now I can shut this. Hold down. And then we can... Oh, shit. T8, remember? Bullshit T6 screws. Uh, what was that? That was weird. All right, centering... Looks pretty good to me. Let's see how she flips. Okay. No blade play. Interesting. Does not even want to drop. So, perhaps I tighten it too much, huh? Yeah. Perhaps. I can't even untighten it. Now remember guys, this is dry. And it's pretty damn good. Centering is dead on. Right? Or does it look a little off? Man, I've been having a hard time with centering lately, guys. I always think it's off. It looks pretty fucking good to me, so. Yeah, I mean, this is good, obviously. Look, I'm not, like, doing anything. Well, there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the KPL. Let me make sure there's no play. Yeah, it's rock solid. God damn this fucking mirror edge, dude. That is not mirror edge, mirror, you know what I mean. All right, so here's your heavy. First, I'm just gonna try putting a little on the detent ball. So I'm not gonna put any on the um, bearings just to see if it makes a difference. I got a feeling it just did, so. Hang tight, boys. Watch this. Nope. Nope. Okay. I mean, definitely good. It's just like there's something a little rough right like there. Right in this area, there's something rough. Um, and I think that's where the KPL is going to come in and save the day. <laughs> All right. I'm making wild claims. This is going to make the action a bunch better. It's just going to drop shut for us. Don't be afraid of KPL, guys. You can always take it apart. So then I take this guy, give a little light spurt, light spurt, try to get it into them bearing pocket sun. All right, ready? Could just be that I need to loosen the pivot some more, but I like to have a tight pivot. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think I need to go a little lighter. Jesus, I really cranked it down, guys. Like, there we go. <laughs> Probably did not need to go putting all that KPL in there, honestly, but who cares, right? It does this now. <laughs> Look, not moving my hand at all. I'm just turning the knife. <laughs> this thing is stupid. Huh? Lean. There you go. Boom. Guillotine. Centering. Dead nuts. Dead freaking nuts, people. Look at that. Look at that. This, guys, is a good fucking knife. And um, I got to say, QSP knocked it out of the park. See, what I, well, the reason I bought this is because I have these knives.
Okay. This is why I bought this knife because they freaking killed it when they did Finch's knives. Now I don't have my holiday and my Cimarron cause Kyle has them right now, but like this right here is made by best tech. So you know what? I should put these two away. Actually, those two are made by best tech. So the only one I have made by QSP right now is the 929, which is probably my favorite one. Anyway, just look at that drop. Look at that hand satin. I mean, hand fucking satin for $120. Yeah, it's 154 CM or whatever. Great steel. I don't give a schnit about that. A schnit. Write that down. <laughs> Idiot. Um, this action is incredible for such a micro-ass knife. Look how small this thing is. Like, let me get a bug out. That'll help you guys see. It's starting to dry out a little, which is good, because that was pissing me off. Um, here's your bug out. Really getting some shadows, huh? Some great lighting, Kev. People love this kind of shit. People love lighting like this there. So, you can see it's bigger than a bug out. The Legatus. And this is way smaller. So, like... it, The action on it is just stupid for being so small. Here's a pair of three. You know? Uh, just fantastic. QSP absolutely fantastic um uh, yeah round of applause for the 1929 guys thanks for stopping by 1929 um yeah like here i'm pretty blown away by the action um again first impressions i honestly like everything about it except for the weight if this thing weighed an ounce less like this sucker's heavy guys i need to get a weight on i need to look it up or something um you guys can look it up, but like, I bet you it's five and a half ounces or something. Like it's a freaking hefty boy. It's a chunker. Um, if this thing weighed an ounce less and was a little like more comfortable in pocket because of that, cause it carries well with the clip and the flipper tabs fine. You know, it's not a huge pecker. It is, but it's not like huge and pointy or anything. It's fine. Good jimping on there. Um, uh, again, reminds me of QS, QSP, it reminds me of the Finch, um, and this blade, guys, look at this thing, again, not just the shine on it, but the poon spoon on it, right here, boom, the choil on it, boom, the edge, man, do I have some paper, I need to show you this, let me get some paper, here we go, just watch this. Guys, and I suck at doing cutting tests, okay? I'm always jacking that up. This thing is a freaking laser beam with ridiculous ergonomics. I mean, look at how it fits in my hand, right? I'm left-handed. I get a full grip down here with this much sticking out. So large hands welcome. And with the choil, you know, plenty of room there. And then you have the poon spoon to land on. And, it, dude, it's just so comfortable um, in both grips. It's amazing. That poon spoon works in both grips. Right-handed, same thing. Absolutely fantastic. Choil, just money. Just absolute money. That clip is low. It's out of the way. It's milled so it has a flat like this instead of being the opposite where it's pointing up, which is a problem with a lot of knives um just phenomenal um i am yeah i'm just more blown away than i thought i would be by this knife and that just disappoints me all that much more about the weight you know like this knife could have been perfect why qsp please somebody tell me why did you not mill this out is it supposed to be like, you have a more weighty feeling in your hand and you, you feel more comfortable doing cuts? Because I don't think that's what it is. I think it was a cost-saving measure. I think they had already spent their money and they were worried it was going to be too expensive. And that's why they added G10 in here instead of using just carbon fiber. Because that would have looked better, in my opinion. Um, and that's why they didn't do any weight relief. They were trying to save a couple bucks and it just kills me. Because I absolutely love this thing 
So, yeah, I'm just struggling with it in that sense. Like, first impression, it's fantastic. But I can't get over the weight. Um, I just can't. So, uh, that, guys, is my rant and my rave and my disassembly and first impressions of the QSP Legatus. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I catch you later. Bye!